If you would have told me at my graduation from high school that I would be in less than a year developing applications and going to Apple's campus in Cupertino, I would have called you a liar and probably laughed in your face. The students spent six weeks learning how to code. They developed a mobile application, not one, but two. They developed one for the Healing Arts Center and they developed one for the Maverick Food Pantry. Executives at Apple were blown away. They said they have never seen a group of students turn out a product so quickly and so well done. And so today was an opportunity for these students to present their applications that they've developed to executives at Apple Computer and to think about what some next steps would be for them, how they would iterate on their current prototypes and then ultimately launch them on the store. I think the overall theme of the whole trip was to keep the user in mind when developing apps. The App Jam internship was exactly what I needed to get where I wanted to be as far as my passion goes. Design thinking is a methodology for solving real-world problems through a very human-centric lens. And essentially it starts with empathizing with an end user and really being comfortable with ambiguity, being comfortable with failing, and being able to redesign a solution based on the needs of an end user. It took a lot of teamwork and a lot of conflict resolution and we were able to come together as a team um, in a very short amount of time, honestly because we were iterating and doing design thinking and yes and and just trying to figure out the best way to solve the problem we were given. So many times those other skills are discounted as soft skills. Those soft skills are in fact the difference maker. They are power skills, they're essential skills. The ability to collaborate with others, understand uh, self and, 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 and social situations. Those are, beyond a shadow of a doubt, some of the most important skills our students can learn. And of course, we love the book learning, we love the in-class learning, but there are other ways to learn and this experiential learning model is providing some great dividends to the university, to the student learners, and now to the community and the business community. We think we have a recipe for something that can be scalable across the entire university. And our vision really is to provide these kinds of opportunities to every single student that comes to the University of Nebraska at Omaha. I think we have a special niche. I think we have a great partnership with Apple. And I think more importantly, we have a student body that's thirsty and hungry for this kind of work. It's a matter of exposing them to it and seeing where they can take it. We are continually poking and prodding at students to make meaning of those experiences and find new ways to apply what they're learning in the classroom to their life outside of the classroom. And so the Apple experience, again, was, was an example of how that comes full circle. You learn those technical skills and in doing so, help support each other, challenge each other, but do it in a way that actually advances the project and makes it better. I'm realizing it with experiences like this, like how much my college experience is kind of differing from others. I'm very, very lucky to be a part of this reimagining of what higher education is. <laughs>